Hello once again everyone, MonkeyDo22 here as a part of the Xbox Ambassadors program. Uh, today I'm here to show you how to do some basic network tests on the Xbox One console and when you may need to contact your internet service provider if you have any sort of slow speed or connectivity issues. So let's go ahead and jump right on into it. First what we're going to need is do, of course, is boot up the Xbox One console. As soon as it boots up we want to navigate over to settings and then all settings. Once we go into all settings, we're going to want to go down to network and then hit A on network settings. From this screen here, we want to go ahead and select test network connection under troubleshooting. This test is going to let us know if we have any connection issues to Xbox Live or the ISP. Looked like we were good there, so let's go ahead and test the multiplayer connection nest. This is going to let us know if we have any issues related to multiplayer gaming, such as a NAT issue or high latency. Looks like we're good there, so we'll go ahead down this time to Detailed Network Statistics. And now what's going to happen here is the console is going to run a few tests and bring back some results. Sometimes it can take a few seconds, so patience is key here. As you can see, we have some great detailed network statistics here. Uh, here we have a speed of 60.5 megabits per second, or roughly 7.5 megabytes download speed. Our upload speed is at 10.73 megabits, which equals to about 1.3 megabytes. Packet loss is at 0%, which is fantastic and exactly what we want to see on the console. This basically means that there is no data loss on the connection, thus we shouldn't see any random disconnect issues. MTU, which stands for Maximum Transmission Unit, is basically a setting on your router and not something you generally need to ever worry about, unless you're seeing a specific error related to it when you run the test multiplayer connection. Lastly, we have latency, which is essentially how long it takes in milliseconds for the console to send data to a server and then circle back to the console. We've got 24 milliseconds, which is really good, so we shouldn't have any problems there. So let's go ahead and compare these stats to the official Xbox recommended stats for a good connection on Xbox Live. Uh, as we can see here, as we have a download speed recommended of 3 megabytes per second, uh, we had 7.5 megabytes per second download speed, which is good. That's, of course, when you convert the 60.5 megabits to megabytes. Uh, upload speed recommended to be 0.5 megabytes per second, to which we had 10.73 megabits or 1.3 megabytes, so that's good as well. 0% uh, packet loss, again, is ideal here. If you're seeing anything above 0%, you want to do some troubleshooting to resolve that issue. And once again, I'll place a link in the description with some additional troubleshooting steps to help with that. Again, the MTU doesn't matter here unless you're seeing a specific error, as I mentioned previously, so we're good with that. And lastly, we have a latency or ping, as some people call it. It's recommended to have this test out at below 150 milliseconds. Anything above that, and you might see some network lag in multiplayer games or slow performance in other apps. So now it looks like we got everything good to go here. But what happens if you're not seeing the recommended stats on your console? Well, for starters, it's good to go ahead and try a power cycle or a hard reset uh, in any instance in troubleshooting, because it's always a great first thing to try. This time you want to try power cycling your console, modem, and router. Second thing you want to do is you want to check support.xbox.com. More specifically, take a look at the live status and make sure all of the services are running properly. You never know, there might be something going on that's relative to what you're seeing, and that could explain that issue. Another thing you want to try, simplify the connection. What I mean here is if you're using a modem plus a router and a switch and all these different other kinds of network accessories, simplify it. Take it just down to just the modem and see if that helps out. Another thing you want to do, check the other devices in the house, whether it's a cell phone, laptop, uh, other kind of handheld devices. Give a look at those. Run those speed tests and take a look and see if it's consistent across all devices. And of course, you want to check with your ISP. You can sometimes check online to see if there's any sort of network outages related. And if you're unable to find that information, it's a good idea to contact them directly to see what they have to say. So those are some basic troubleshooting steps and ideas to help you out. If you're seeing any sort of connection issues on Xbox Live, if you see any errors running the tests, be sure to take a look in the description. I'm going to have all sorts of different kind of guides to link to that you can take a look at to resolve those sorts of issues. I'm MonkeyDo22 as part of the Xbox Live Ambassadors program. If you're curious about us, ambassadors.xbox.com. We'd love to have you, earn some experience, help out your fellow gamers. That said, have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you on Xbox Live.